So there's a ton of legitimate criticisms that I have against Hillary Clinton. I mean, she's too cozy with Wall Street. Uh, she's too hawkish. Uh, I think that she does too many favors for her donors. I don't like that the Clinton Foundation influenced her decisions while she was Secretary of State. However, there are some criticisms of Hillary Clinton that are so complete and utterly idiotic that I'm compelled to defend Hillary Clinton, even though I don't want to defend Hillary Clinton and I dislike Hillary Clinton. That is Pizzagate. Now, this is something that I didn't ever think I'd have to cover because it's so stupid that it borders on satirical and I thought that it would just fade into obscurity. But unfortunately, this is a lie that has prevailed for so long. Now, many people believe it to be true. So according to New York Daily News, nearly half of all Donald Trump voters believe a widely debunked conspiracy theory claiming that Hillary Clinton is involved in a child sex ring run out of a popular Washington, D.C. pizzeria, a recent poll suggests. The Economist slash YouGov poll released Tuesday shows that a staggering 46% of Trump voters believe so-called Pizzagate conspiracy, which began circulating on obscure sites like 4chan and Reddit ahead of election day before spurring controversy on Twitter and Facebook. So uh, when it comes to the evidence for this, nowhere, zero. Now, this is something that, uh, you know, it's, it's not only harmful because it's factually inaccurate and it's not founded in reality, but it's harmful because it has real-world consequences. Concerns over the dangerous impact of fake news were heightened after Edgar Welch, 28, of Salisbury, North Carolina, stormed into the Italian restaurant at the center of the baseless conspiracy with a loaded assault rifle on December 4th in order to self-investigate. Welch fired several shots inside the pizzeria, but didn't strike anyone and was subsequently arrested without incident. He later claimed he regretted the way he handled the situation, noting that his intel on this wasn't 100%. No shit. You don't say. So, the fact that this is a story that gained any traction is absurd to me, and the fact that 46% of Donald Trump voters believe it? That sounds kind of... Dum, 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 dum. This comes from a proportion of the American electorate that voted for a candidate that is accused of raping a 13-year-old girl that was exposed as saying that he just grabs women by the genitals and he doesn't even wait. That's called rape. You know that, right? That's sexual assault. But you, you believe that <laughs> the person that you voted for, you know, uh, he's okay. The person who I'm going to worry about... Uh, with a pedophilia dilemma, it's not the person accused of raping a 13-year-old girl. You are really dumb, for real. This is absolutely absurd. And if you don't like Hillary Clinton, you should probably stop talking about Pizzagate because this just feeds into the narrative that fake news cost her the election. I don't believe this cost her the election at all. I think she lost because she ran a terrible campaign. She split the party. She didn't campaign in Wisconsin and she lost there. I don't think this cost her the election, but Fake news is still fake news. Uh, false information is still false information. And I wouldn't be surprised if many Donald Trump voters base their decision on this. Not enough to cost Hillary Clinton the election, no. But still a significant portion. Even I think two people is too much. So, yeah. Pizzagate, guys, it's bullshit. Please don't believe it. Hillary Clinton is not a pedophile. <laughs> and I shouldn't have to come out and say this. But the fact that I do shows... How they'll just believe anything. I mean, come on. Support this podcast by joining the independent progressive media revolution today at humanistreport.com.